I haven't really planned how I'm going to start this video and I haven't really thought about what I'm going to say so I'm just going to say how I feel and hope for the best. If you're not someone who's familiar with the drama in the beauty community I ask that you watch some of this video and just let me know in the comment section what you think. If you're on YouTube a lot then you'll know that there's been a lot of drama in the beauty community and all the public are taking sides and most people are taking the side of Jeffree Star including me. Over the past few days I have been watching quite a lot of the drama channels and keeping up with what's been going on. I've watched the apology videos and before any of this happened I was subscribed to Manny MUA and Jeffree Star and I watched some of Laura Lee's videos but I wasn't a subscriber. While I was watching Laura Lee's apology I was rolling my eyes thinking this is the fakest thing I've ever seen. I showed it to people who don't even know who she is, they don't have any interest in what's going on and I was just like this, look at how fake this is and it was annoying me. And it really annoyed me when she was talking about when she retweeted something that she clearly tweeted. So when she made the apology, she lied in her apology, which makes the whole thing a lie. Then when I started reading her comments, I thought, some of these people have got a bit of a cheek. There's people in the comment section saying, oh, you're a bully, you look like a horse, you're a bully, or just go and kill yourself, or oh, just delete your channel, babe, or just give up, babe. Laurelie's cancelled. And it's like, there's millions of people messaging her every single day, millions of them, telling her to delete her channel and that her career's over. Now, if her career's over, that's fine. If you don't like her channel, you can unsubscribe. I don't even really like Laura Lee that much. I wasn't subscribed to her and I watched some of her videos. But to see people constantly say, oh, go kill yourself, you look like a horse, and your channel's cancelled, oh, and people are like, oh, babe, you know, like talking to her. That, that's the kind of comments that annoy me, like, Oh, just can't see your channel, babe. You know what I mean? Like, as if you're trying to talk to them like a friend. Or, or like, oh, you're over, honey. And it's like, don't speak to people like that. Do you know what I mean? You don't know this person. You think that you're being a wee sarcastic bitch or whatever. But it's just bad. It's just bullying. That is what bullies do. Not so long ago, I wasn't too keen on Jeffree Star and I really liked Manny. But as I watched more of their videos, I started to think that Manny was coming across as quite fake and Jeffree Star was just being a genuine person. Obviously, I don't know them in real life, but that's just how they were coming across to me. And then after all this drama happened, and the public, as usual, leave comments on things. You know, that's what the comment section's for, to give your opinion. But when your opinion is, oh, you're fat, or you're ugly, or go and kill yourself, or just close your channel down. Like, that, that's not productive in any way. That's not constructive. That's just being nasty for no reason. Last night before I went to bed, I was 100% sure that Manny was going to do his apology video. And when I was in bed, I was checking my phone every 10 minutes to check his channel to see if his video was up yet. Now, I realise that that's sad to admit that, but I had been following the drama and I had been subscribed to them and I wanted to see what, he, what his apology video was going to be. Because Laura's apology video to me was just so bad. I wanted to see what he would say and while I was looking for that all these live videos were coming up these live streams either live subscription counts see everybody involved in the drama and that was fine and there was people in there like requesting Jeffree Star songs and stuff like that but so many of the comments I'd say like 90% of the comments were so like vicious and nasty and I know that a lot of people don't think YouTube is being a job but for these people YouTube is a job and a lot of people were saying, oh, just cancel their channel or whatever. Now, Manny, as far as I know, hasn't posted anything racist or anything like that. So there's not really a need to be like that. Just because him and Jeffree Star aren't friends anymore, I don't feel that there's a need to say, oh, just cancel your channel, babe. Do you know what I mean? That's his actual job. A few weeks ago, a girl in my area killed herself because she was being bullied at work and she was 30 years old. And I didn't know the girl right, but everybody online was saying, oh, this is tragic, nobody should have to be bullied, nobody should have to go through this. But yeah, I bet you a lot of the people are sitting online telling Laura to go and kill herself. And he'd be like, oh, honey, just cancel your channel, honey, or you better just sell your house, darling. That, that's bullying, right? Just because you're not doing it to somebody's face and you don't work with that person, you're still bullying them. I don't have many subscribers and even I get people on my channel saying oh you're fat, you're the most annoying person in the world, you're ugly and all the rest of it, right? Now, am I going to go and kill myself because of the people? No, because their opinion is irrelevant to me. Somebody to tell me that I'm fat isn't going to make me go and hang myself. 
But I'm a more confident person than a lot of people out there. If I had millions of people coming on and saying, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat, you're ugly, go and kill yourself, then that would be different, you know what I mean? Like, I get people saying it to me, but I don't care. But if you have people constantly saying that to you, millions of people every single day, that is going to affect you. I don't care how confident you are. You could be the most confident person in the world, right? And somebody constantly saying, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. You're going to be affected by that. I'm not sticking up for Laura because I don't agree with any of the tweets that she tweeted out, regardless of whether it was six years ago or not. But at the end of the day, everybody's online telling Manny and Laura and all the rest of them that they're snakes and that they're bullies. But they're wanting to take a look at their shelf and see that they made a mistake, something that's got nothing to actually do with the public, right, even though it's in the public eye. And they're saying these things to people. And it's disgusting, honestly. I'll probably get comments on this video saying, you've got the most annoying voice in the world. Oh my God, your makeup is a mess. Oh my God, you're so fat. Go and kill yourself. And if you want to leave a comment like that, that's fine because all comments help rank up videos and more people will see them. And it doesn't bother me and I actually laugh at them. But to have somebody like that to have that constantly, millions of people, of course, I would be affected. I don't know if I'd go and kill myself over it, right, but I would be affected. People in the public, people who leave comments, need to take responsibility for their actions as well. You can't turn around and call somebody a bully and then two seconds later tell them that they're fat or going to go and kill themselves. Because that makes you worse than them. When I was at school, I was never bullied. Obviously, I got into fights and arguments and things like that with people, but I was never actually bullied at school. But once I left school, I was bullied when I went into work. When I worked in the casino, I was being bullied by somebody. And when I reported it to the manager, the manager was like, oh, that's just his personality. That's just how he speaks to people. And it's like, well, he might speak to other people like that, but I'm about to snap. Do you know what I mean? Other people might think that it's all right to be spoke to like a piece of crap and for him to try and embarrass me in front of customers and it's not acceptable like I just didn't accept it just because somebody's a dick to everybody else doesn't mean it's alright for them to be a dick to you and the manager just took his side because that was his attitude with everybody he's a dick with everybody so just let him speak to you whatever way and I wasn't about to let that happen one way that a lot of people justify bullying online is that they say when somebody puts themselves in the public eye, they should be willing to take criticism. Like, I'm willing to take criticism. I'm willing for people to say, I don't like your video because I find you annoying. I don't like your video because you talk too much. I don't like your video because your voice is annoying. That's fine, right? I can't change my voice. But to just turn around and say, you're fat or you're ugly or go and kill yourself, is unacceptable. You can't just speak to people like that. Can you imagine somebody just walked up to you in the street and spoke to you like that? No, you'd knock them out. Or worse. People on the internet need to realise that when they leave comments on videos telling people to go and kill themselves and that they're ugly and that they're fat, that is bullying. Like I say, I do get comments on my videos as well saying that I'm fat and all the rest of it and it doesn't bother me. But if I did have millions of comments like that, then it probably would affect me in some way. Regardless of whether you think that Laura Lee is fake or not, at the end of the day, Manny hasn't done anything racist that I know about. And people are still telling him to go and cancel his channel because him and Jeffrey Star fell out. You don't even know Jeffrey Star. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like Jeffrey Star, I like watching his videos, but I don't know him. And everybody's taking these sides of people that they don't even know. Like, even I do it, you know what I mean? Like, you watch your drama channels and you're like, oh, this happened and that happened. But you don't really know what's happened. It's just a drama channel. They're just... It just doesn't make any sense for people to go and fight for somebody who they don't even know. They don't even know the situation. I realise that I've went on a total rant here. And I don't even know how long this video is because my mum's come in three times and I've had to pause this video. But everybody's online calling these people bullies and then they're bullying them in return. And that doesn't make you a better person. 
You're bullying somebody that you don't even know. There's no excuse for it, to be honest. There's just no excuse for it. When Jeffrey was on Shane's documentary and he was talking about how he used to be bullied and people used to throw things at him and call him names and all the rest of it and people were thinking, oh my God, that's a shame, that's terrible. But yet, they're messaging Laura Lee and telling her to kill herself. They're messaging her and saying, you look like a horse, you're ugly, you better sell your house, you better sell all your handbags and shoes. Imagine somebody said that to you. Imagine somebody came into your work to your desk because you'd done something and they says, oh, by the way, you're going to get sacked. You, you better start um, selling, you better sell your car because you're going to have no money. You better sell your house because you're going to have no money and laughing about it. It's not really a laughing matter when that's your actual job. I don't want anybody in the comments saying, oh, you're sticking up for a racist, whatever. I'm not sticking up for her. But what I'm saying is there's no need for people to leave all these negative comments and actually bully people. Let's just say Laura or Manny killed herself over this and then it was on the news and it was all over the internet and everybody will be like, oh, that's a shame they were being bullied online so they killed herself. And it's like, I, it was you that was bullying them. You're the one that called her ugly. You're the one that tell her to sell her house. You're the one that tell her to go and sell all her bags. You're the one that tell Manny was fake when you don't even know him. Just before I end this video, because I realise it's been on for way too long, people are bullied all the time. People are bullied at home, in school, in work, on the internet. And if you see somebody getting bullied at school and you stick up for that person, then why would you then go home and bully somebody that you don't even know online and just be nasty at them and tell them to go and kill yourself? Or maybe you bully somebody at home, at, at school and online, do you know what I mean? Maybe you're just one of the sad people. Everybody's judging all these people online that they don't know and really they should take a look at their, their self and how they treat people and how they speak to people that they don't even know. Now, I like to watch the drama channels and I like to be kept up with what's going on, but drama channels are for entertainment purposes only. The people are speculating. They're saying, oh, I think they said this to Jeffree Star. I think this is what this tweet's about. But they don't know. They don't have an idea of what's actually happened. And then people are going on and they're leaving all these negative comments and telling people to kill themselves and cancel their channel. And there's no need for it. Generally, I don't really love humanity, but I only really hate people who are cruelly animals and children. And I hate Jimmy Oliver, to be honest, I hate him. But I have never went online and said to him, go and kill yourself or you're ugly or anything like that. Never. Even though I actually detest him. With all that being said, I think I've made my point pretty clear. There's people who'll sit in the house and talk about drama that's happening in real life or online. And that's fine, they're just going to do that. But there's people who'll sit on Twitter and write things about, oh, bullying's so bad, people are getting bullied in schools, people are getting bullied in work. And then two seconds later, they'll go online and they'll tell somebody to kill themselves or they'll tell them that they're fat and ugly. And half of these people who are saying that people are bullies are bullies themselves and they, they can't even see it. Because they think that because they're doing it online it doesn't count, and it does. So with all that being said, I better go. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's probably going to be longer than Gabriel's apology video. If you've even made it to this point in the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. You probably won't be subscribing after this rant, to be honest. But, you know, you never know. And thanks for watching. Bye.